Hello everyone. Back on channel Secret Paradise. This time we'll talk about. BTS, Base Transceiver Station, includes understanding, function, type, components, and impact of. Technology is currently an important component in meeting the basic needs of society. For example, communication technology becomes one of the infrastructure that must exist in an area so that there needs to be a fast system, free without limits, and can be used in even remote areas. The fulfillment of these needs can be done by building network infrastructure, one of which is by building a BTS, base transceiver station. BTS is an instrument in a mobile telecommunications network in the form of a tower that has a transmitter antenna and serves as a power signal amplifier that can connect the network of a mobile telecommunications operator with its customers. Determining the location of BTS itself requires topographic surveys so that the selected location is precise and accurate. One of them is by looking at the Fresnel area. Fresnel area must be clean from all obstacles so that it will reach loss, line of sight, or what is called the view between BTS. BTS is the main thing of a telecommunications service and is a transmitter and receiver that handles radio access and it interacts directly with mobile stations through the air interface. To maximize the performance of this tool there needs to be maintenance and replacement of the device. Therefore, it takes analysis of BTS system in order to maximize its performance. As a regional interconnector, BTS is a tool to connect one area with another, even though the area is in a difficult place to reach using transportation. This tool allows a remote area to connect with other areas because it can exchange information through radio waves emitted by BTS or mobile devices. However, the nearness of the signal strength of BTS still depends on the topographic conditions of an area. Signals in the plains, such as urban areas, tend to be stable and can reach almost the entire region. In contrast to the hilly mountain environment, signals tend to be difficult to obtain in certain locations considering that the waves, most GSM, produced by BTS cannot penetrate the hill as a radio signal path protocol. Each BTS will take care of a cell, where each BTS will set the BCCH, broadcast control channel, with a maximum number of 8 channel carrier channels. Each transceiver transmits with the same power. BTS can be used as a protocol of radio signal lines, information signal lines between BSC and MS mobile switch, as well as BSC interface protocols. BTS can serve as a transmitter and receiver, transceiver, connection signal to OR to MS as well as connect MS with other parts of the network such as base station controller, BSC, mobile switching center, MSC, short message service center, SMSC, and so on by using an interface radio type. This condition can make BTS function as a means of communication device for users with a network to other networks. One range of BTS's radiance can be called cell. Mobile communication is today's communication that strongly supports any activity. The next part of the base is supervised by a base station controller, BSC, connected by microwave and fiber optics. BTS Components in the BTS tower there are various components that support each other. These components include sectoral antennas and microwaves, lightning rods, lights, shelters, and various other components. Shelter is a place that is usually used for storage of tools related to BTS devices. The location itself is usually located just below the tower, this is in order to create data transfer efficiency power transfer, and reduce land needs in its construction. The components in the shelter are usually RBS-3G with RBS-2G, 1RBS there is 6DRU where every 1TRU has 2TRX. Sectoral antenna is an antenna that serves to provide beaming and receive signals. 
The antenna used is a three-sector antenna with a combination of distributed control system DCS, with a one-sector coverage is 120 degrees. Microwave system is one method with very high frequency microwave emission and receiver. Microwave systems are usually used for BTS communication with other BTS or BTS with BSC. Microwave system used is with an indoor system, although the microwave antenna itself is always attached to the tower. Microwave radio antenna has the same shape as tambourine, this antenna is classified as a type of antenna with high performance or commonly called high performance antenna. Usually there are two brands of microwave antennas that are often used, namely RFS and Andrew. A round antenna similar to this tambourine has a cover commonly called radome. The main function of radome is to protect the antenna components present in it, usually to protect from bad weather. Lightning rods are components used in order to protect the tower from lightning strikes. The main function of this lamp is as an indicator that there is a tower in the area to prevent aircraft or helicopters from crashing into BTS. Transmitter Receiver Unit DRU, is hardware located on a radio base station within a BTS that contains channel slots. Transmission is a device used to set traffic slots on BTS. Rectifier has the function to change the voltage of PLN, AC, so that it can be used by various other devices. Air conditioners are used to regulate the temperature inside the shelter and other BTS components. A GDP or power distribution box is a box that contains MCBs or power switches on each device that serves as a power supplier. Grounding is useful to be able to reduce or overcome the threat of dangers that come from high voltage. For example, if the tower is hit by lightning then the current flow from high power lightning will be received by a lightning rod, then it will be streamed by a special cable that is a grounding system and current is flowed into the ground so that electricity becomes neutral and not harmful. BTS users are divided into two types, namely mobile users and provider users. Mobile phone users are humans who use signals coming from BTS, usually GSM, for communication purposes. With this tool, humans can call, send SMS or MMS, internet, video calls, play online games, and so on. User Provider is a company that uses BTS for the purpose of providing services to its consumers. Usually one tower is used by several provider companies so that in one area is not filled with towers. The negative impact of BTS is that electromagnetic wave radiation in the long term can interfere with health. For example, the electromagnetic field around the BTS tower can lower a person's immune system. As a result a person's body can experience allergies with symptoms of rashes and hives. Moreover, in the long run radiation from these towers can cause skin cancer and interfere with the reproductive organs. The area around the tower also becomes vulnerable to the impact of lightning strikes on the tower, the surrounding land becomes difficult to contract or sell, and there are concerns about the collapse of this tower. The positive impact is certainly a lot as well. People are becoming easier to access the internet, developing businesses around towers, especially online businesses, and people are becoming less disadvantaged in terms of access to global information. That's all about BTS, Base Transceiver Station. See you again. Thank you for watching Secret Paradise Channel.